has it. No, I don't think it's crashed. I think we're back. I think we're live. Yes, the software just glitched. Just <laughs> despite all the other technical issues this weekend, in the very, very last live stream, uh, it almost crashed. But yes, I think we're going out live. I am broadcasting this on my YouTube channel and on the GridCon Facebook page. I did start doing a couple of videos on the GridCon Facebook page, but then with the technical issues that I was having, I decided to yeah just, just stick to YouTube. Um, so yeah, this is basically the GridCon closing ceremony. Although, if this was a physical convention, we would be kicking people out right now. We'd be saying, look, come on, finish up, get out. We need to clear up. It's virtual GridCon. It isn't finishing. I know a few people that are uh, that are playing games tonight. I think there's, yeah, David Murray's doing some games tonight. So yeah, there is gaming still going on. The Discord server is still there. You can play games as long as you want to. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing after this. I might pop into the bar area. If anybody wants a, a chat, I might get a drink. Have we got any cider left? We have cider left. Right, I'm going to get myself a cider. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll be in the bar area. So if you're on the Discord server, I'll be in the bar area just for a bit afterwards. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll live stream a solo mage night or something like that. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, so, can't see or hear you, but thank you all for the great weekend, says Marco. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, so... I'm going to try and keep this quite short because I don't want to take up anybody's time too much. It's uh, it's obviously Sunday night. It's been an exhausting week, I think. Uh, obviously, putting all of this together took most of the time last week. And then the last three days have just been a blur. Um, people have been saying to me that it's been a fantastic success. Thank you very much for that. And thank you very much for everybody for making it a fantastic success. Um, because I was doing a lot of live streaming and Q&As and everything else, I liked doing that and, and that was something that I enjoy doing and I'm so used to doing that but I would have also liked there to have been two of me's and the other me wasn't doing any of that and was just there on the Discord server chatting to people and making sure everybody's okay. There was a lot of stuff going on on the Discord server that I wasn't, not that I want to be involved in everything, I just want to see it's happening and see people enjoying themselves and then the times that I did pop onto the Discord server it was like, oh, there's games being organised and people are at this table and people are running demos and everything else. And it all seemed to be going, it seemed to be going very well. This was the first one I've done. Uh, people are saying, are you going to do another one? We don't have any plans to do another one. Of course, we did this because this weekend would have been GridCon 2. GridCon 2 has been moved back. So GridCon 2 is booked in for the end of November. Anybody who'd booked a ticket for this GridCon 2, that's been moved forward. A few people had to cancel but we've actually sold a few tickets for the, the real GridCon 2 uh, over the last few days. So if you are interested in attending the real GridCon 2, uh, which is, hang on, let's just mute my sounds a bit. Real GridCon 2 is supposed to be happening at the end of November. Um, there are a few tickets left. We're hoping it goes ahead. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen in the world. Uh, we don't know what the situation is. Obviously, we had to cancel this one. We don't want to have to cancel the next one. But who knows what the world is going to be like uh, then. If everything's sorted out and we are able to run the event, I would love to see you at uh, GridCon 2. However, based on certain things that have happened this weekend, we might do GridCon 2 with a virtual bit on the side. There is almost no effort now, now that everything's in place and set up, for having a virtual part of GridCon 2. So those of us that can make it will be there in a room playing games and those people who want to attend but can't make it, we can put the Discord server up, okay? And people can just jump on and play games. I won't be able to really keep an eye on it much because I'll be busy running the actual GreekCon, but this is one thing that we're thinking of doing. Right, so yes, it's good to see everybody in the chat and thank you very much for everybody for what they've done. Um, now, obviously, a lot of the organisation and the planning and everything else um, you know, has been down to me, but not all of it. And I'm not going to start listing all of the people that have helped because if I do, I'm bound to forget somebody um, and I don't want to do that. So you know who you are, all of those people who've helped put this together. I could have done it without you. So yeah, thank you very much. Right. What else did we want to say? Um, I'm not crying yet. <laughs> I'm going to at some point. This is, a, this is a how long can Paul go for without, without crying because there's important stuff I want to say and I know exactly what's going to happen when I do. So <laughs> we're, not, we're, not, we're not going to go there um, just yet. But obviously, charity raffle, how much money we raised? 
I don't want to look. <laughs> I don't want to look because the last time I looked it was, uh, but yeah, thank you very much for everybody who's obviously donated. Um, and thank you to everybody who has signal boosted it, shared it um, and, and everything else because obviously people's individual donations are fantastic. Uh, but then sharing it with other groups and spreading the word about it, obviously that's that's helped as well. Um, now we are going to be, we've extended the cutoff. So uh, midnight tonight, I said UTC, Vicky said BST, doesn't really matter, okay? Around midnight tonight is when we're doing the cutoff. Now, the Just Giving page is still there. You can still go on and you can donate, but we have to have a point where we transfer all of the names onto a spreadsheet and then we do the draw. Now, the system that we're using has turned out to be a lot more complicated than we thought. I would have loved to have done the draw live right now, but there's no way we can do that. We can't get the report from Just Giving for about another 24 hours. So at some point in the next few days, we will be doing the draw offline um, and they will we'll, we'll be announcing the winners. We'll be announcing the winners on the GridCon Facebook page. Uh, I'll, I, I don't know where else. We'll probably put it on the GridCon website as well. Um, and all of the winners, we will be contacting you by email. So if you haven't heard in a few days, pop onto the Facebook page or the, or the website. There'll be a list of winners there. If you think you're one of the winners, um, then check your email, check your junk folder and everything else like that. And I will make a couple of attempts to contact people. Um, have I got any Jaffa cakes left? Yes. <laughs> I've got a few Jaffa cakes over here. These are the pineapple ones, which are unusual, to say the least. Have you tried one? Try one. Yeah, they are unusual. Um, let, let's have some questions in the chat. Has anybody got any questions for me um, in the chat? <laughs> Vicky's, yeah. Uh, Scott is saying, I think most cons will do the same in future. What, have the virtual one on the side? Okay. Uh, Phil the Sheep is saying, where was it? Uh, hoping it can get down to Eastbourne with all you fools for the lobster con. Yeah. Um, they lasted that long. Yeah, one of the problems this weekend is I've, I've been so on the go with one thing after another, with all of the technical issues and the runovers and everything else. I'm only eating little bits. I'm, I'm literally snacking. You know, here's, here's my tea. Here's my spaghetti bolognese. I've not even finished it. Um, here's my porridge from this morning. It's half finished, right? This, this, is, this is how it's been for the last three or four days. It's literally just Vicky bringing me bits of food, me eating it and, and going on. Uh, Graham has posted details of the raffle in a thing. What's the best bit of the weekend for me? That game of Just One we just played was fantastic because Just One's brilliant. Just One is such good fun. Yeah, I mean, there's been a few highlights. Um, obviously, the game of Just One that we've just played, which is on the channel now, was really good. Really, really enjoyed playing that. Um, yeah, there's been, there's been a load of... I've enjoyed each one. Probably the most... I mean, yeah, Just One was the fun, the most fun one. The most rewarding one was the Under Falling Skies <laughs> on Saturday morning where I came up with the idea and I thought, oh, wouldn't it be great if I actually got to teach a couple of the kids in Uganda how to play a game? But we're going to have connection problems. It's not going to work. Uh, there's going to be all sorts of technical issues. And we made it work. We did make it work. So for me, teaching a game you know, to Patrick and Arnold over there was rewarding for me. But it was also eye-opening because anybody who watched that stream, and if you haven't watched the stream, go and watch the stream. This is the Under Falling Skies Game 2 from yesterday at noon. Wow. Absolutely wow. Because the way that they dealt with playing a game, I mean, I had an expectation going into it of what they would be like, and I was completely wrong. So I knew they were good with rules. I knew they were good at understanding games because of the games that they play. I know that Patrick or Arnold has taught Madeira how to, you know, how to play Madeira to like a group of 14 year olds or something like that. So I knew they were very clever uh, and I knew they were very switched on. But listening to that, I mean, it was a weird stream because I'd teach them the rules and I'd roll them the dice and everything else. And then it'd be like, right. And I was sat there for probably five minutes, not saying anything. And all we could hear was them two planning and working it out and talking about things in so much detail and they were analysing the game and analysing the situation. They'd never played it before and they were working it out and solving everything and everything like that. I won't spoil what happens 
but the way that the game went and the way that the game ended was was really good so yeah that was probably personally um yeah my most rewarding point of the weekend and scott saying that it was the highlight of what he saw as well uh yeah the way that they communicated with each other and worked together on it was was very good um yeah right okay so yeah that was good anybody got any other questions in the chat have i missed anything any other questions that i've missed Will the Discord server continue? So the Discord server is the virtual gridcon server rather than the gaming rules server. I was considering it, I was considering renaming it to the gaming rules server and keeping it going, but I'm probably going to keep it as virtual gridcon. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for that. As everybody knows, and I don't want to bang on about it, I'm always way too busy. I'm doing millions of things at once. Um, and I've got so many things coming at me from all, ang from all angles with Slack. Uh, Twitter, social media, emails, private messages and everything else. It is all overwhelming and it is a bit too much. So I'm not able to be on Discord, you know, full time on a regular basis as I am on the Slack channel. The Slack channel is for Patreon supporters and I'm very active on there most of the time. So I'm more than happy to keep the Discord server open, but please don't use Discord as a means of communication to me. I will only open Discord now and again, uh, but I'm more than happy to leave it there and I'm more than happy for people to just meet up on there or or whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, Vicky says favorite uh, bit was a random game of Six Nymphs that somebody taught me. Yeah, we played a game of Six Nymphs on Friday night, I think, or Saturday night or something like that. And I've not played Six Nymphs for eight years, 10 years maybe. And I remember it being a bit of fun, but quite random and just a bit silly. Um, but that game we played of it was like, oh, I'm, I'm actually thinking about this. Now it is a fun game, but it was better than I, I remembered it to be. Um, total number of Jaffa Gates consumed. Yeah, not as many as I'd like. Probably, you're going to be really disappointed. There's, there's, I mean, this room's a mess, right? There's empty packets everywhere. I haven't even opened that packet. I finished that one. I don't know, 20, 30, something like that. Um, the three-star difficulty Dale of Merchants. Yeah, possibly least enjoyable game that I've played this weekend. And that isn't a slight on the game whatsoever. Um, but last night I was in the mood for something not quite light and fun and not quite heavy. I wanted something around the medium. Um, and Dale of Merchants is a really good game. Liked it, wanted to play it again. Unfortunately, we all foolishly chose a set of cards which all say, these are super difficult. Don't choose these unless you're really experienced with the game. And these ones are really complicated. And we went, yeah, that'll be fine. And it, and it wasn't. And I was tired. And I didn't understand what was going on, so the game wasn't enjoyable. But that is our fault. That is not a fault on the game itself. What we should have done is chosen five simple cards and just played a light, easier game. Um, yeah, that, that would have been a better way of uh, a better way of doing it. David saying his best part of the weekend was melting other three new players' brains with Project S. Yes, I currently know nothing about Project S, and they won't even tell me what the S stands for. But everything I've been hearing about it from lots of people is that it is very, very good. Um, so yes, Scott is saying, please tell us you're going to sleep for at least a day tomorrow. Well, Vicky said this, Vicky said earlier on, you have a day off tomorrow, don't you? And unfortunately I don't uh, because I've got a full schedule on Tuesday and there's a lot of stuff on Tuesday that's reliant on tomorrow. Plus I have huge amount of emails to go through. I mean, I've got, you know, work related stuff for me in the last four days has taken a step back. So I am behind uh, on all the rule books that I'm working on. I'm behind on projects. Uh, and I have a playtest session that I haven't even told anybody about. So I'll mention it now. If anybody wants to playtest Agamonia blind playtest from the rulebook Tuesday afternoon, that's what I've got to organise tomorrow. I've got to organise a stream that I'm doing on Tuesday night. Uh, I've got to do the Anachrony solo playthrough at some point this week. Um, yeah, and we're getting near the end of the month as well. So there's a whole load of extra Patreon stuff that I need to do. I will, however, though, be taking Friday off. Uh, because next Friday is my birthday and lots of people have been saying, well, say lots of people, uh, <laughs> a couple, you know, what can we get you for your birthday? Um, I don't generally do birthdays that much. Uh, I don't really do gifts. I'm not really comfortable at receiving gifts. So please don't feel you need to send me anything for my birthday because it actually makes me a little uncomfortable to receive things. Um, this weekend, this has been a birthday present. So all of the the support, everybody who's been playing games 
that was a birthday present. So yeah, thank you very much in advance. Now, it is a big birthday coming up this Friday. Um, it's my 27th birthday this Friday. I've no idea why, but Vicky's work colleagues have got me uh, got me this. So yeah, you need to have a word with them because I'm 27, right? Okay, so I don't know where they got that information from. Um, but yeah, I will be taking Friday off. Now, <laughs> I say that, I will wake up probably two hours before you and I'll end up doing work for two hours just because that's that's the routine that I'm in every day of my life. It's, it's, you know, it's not a problem, that's just, that's just how it is. Anyway, I'm trying to, I don't look a day over 21. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think I do look a bit over 21. Um, yeah, right, okay. Any questions that anybody else? Oh, Vicky's gonna send me a cake. Yes, excellent. Uh, yeah, always like cake. I say don't send me gifts, send me cake. Definitely send me cake. Um, support gaming rules on Patreon to celebrate Paul's birthday. Um, yeah, I mean, I've not really mentioned the Patreon much because I didn't want any of this weekend or any of the charity raffle to be a support Paul on Patreon. Okay, my Patreon campaign kind of is a separate thing, but is also not a separate thing. Okay, and the reason for that is last week I did almost no paid work. Okay, I was working between 16 and 20 hours a day. Uh, and getting four hours sleep a night in preparing everything for this weekend. And I've worked all this weekend, okay? Now, the Cloudspire demo was uh, sponsored uh, by Chip Theory Games and the Under Falling Skies was sponsored by CGE. Other than that, I almost did no paid work last week. So how can I survive without doing any paid work? Who pays the bills? That's the Patreon campaign. So the, Patre the Patreon campaign funds the reviews and a lot of the uh, playthroughs that I do and a, a whole load of other stuff that I do. And effectively the Patreon campaign has funded my time to be able to put together this weekend. So I'm not doing this to boost the Patreon, but what I am saying is a thank you to all of my Patreon supporters that give me the financial flexibility to take the time off work in order to create something like this. Um, you know, if I was a Patreon supporter and only got, you know, a few hundred dollars a month, there's no way financially that I'd be able to say, oh, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, I'll take a week off paid work in order to do this thing. But thankfully the Patreon campaign is successful enough that I'm able to do that. So yeah, thank you for helping me all make this uh, make this possible. Um, switch off all the messaging on Friday. Yeah, I can't. I'm one of those people who has to be permanently connected. Otherwise I start to feel uncomfortable. There is a name for it. It's a medical condition. Um, and yeah, I, I have it. Now, if we were to go out for the day and leave everything at home, I'd be fine. But if I'm at home, I kind of have to be doing that because otherwise I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I know, it, I know it's bad, um, but yeah, that's the way it is. Right, any other questions in the chat? Um, or are you going to wait till we get to the bar area later where I'm not broadcasting live? <laughs> so you can ask me some real things. Yeah, the bar area, the chat has been, um, has been quite nice because I've been using it to kind of, you know, chill out at the end of the day and just, just have a chat with people as if I was like in the bar area. And uh, yeah, we've, we've shared some stories of, um, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, things going on. And if you want some inside information on things that go on in the industry, then yeah, basically buy me half a can of cider, get me in the bar area and I'll tell you all sorts of stuff. Um, so yeah, right. I think that's probably everything. Thank you very much for all of the messages in the chat. It's been really good. And the other thing as well, obviously we said, if you donate to the raffle, then please send an email because we're collecting all of the emails together and we're doing the draw based on, based on that. Um, and it's really interesting because Vicky's been going through all of the emails today to transfer the information into a spreadsheet. And some people, because we literally just said, if you donate, send us an email. Some people said, hi, Paul, this is my email, thanks. Okay, which is great. Um, because that's exactly what we wanted people to do. You know, screenshot of their donation, here's my details, done. Other people, uh, which I hadn't realized because there's been hundreds of emails coming in, um, have actually taken the time to write me some personal messages. And I will read through them all. I've read through a few of them. And thank you very much. Uh, just to let you know, if you were one of those people that sent one of those emails, they will get read. So yeah, very, very much appreciated. Um, oh, Ben's here. Right, excellent. Ben is here from, from, uh, from Uganda. So thank you very much. Uh, he's saying, I hope everybody enjoyed the weekend. Uh, Vicky is saying that the bar area was a highlight of virtual gridcon. 
the bar area was created by, I think it was Agile John, uh, John Dunnett created the bar area in the Discord channel a few weeks ago. I, th I don't know, maybe it's a bit of a joke or something like that. And then we went, I'll tell you what, yeah, let's have a bar area where people can literally just, you know, go to the bar and talk about stuff and everything else. So yeah, that's, that's why we kept it. Apparently we're not far off 9,000, uh, which is just incredible. Um, now I believe, and I'm not, I'm not going to push this now too much because most people watching here have already donated and you've probably already shared this on social media. So I don't think we're going to get to 10,000, but Ben has told me what can happen. I'm all right. <laughs> ben has told me what can happen if we do get to 10,000. Now it's not that we can't do anything if we don't get to 10,000. 9,000 pounds is still a huge amount of money, uh, but I know when I spoke to Ben about, you know, maybe if we advertise what we can do at various stages, we never managed to get that advertised that much. But I believe £10,000 was something like building three classrooms or, or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, right. So I'm going to disappear now. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Ah, Right, I'm going to close off now uh, by playing you a video. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch off. I'm not going to come back after the video because you know what? I'll see you in the bar area. Okay. Hey everyone, here we are at the Chrysalis Center in Kampala after the virtual gridcon on the 28th of June 2020. Mm -hmm. Thank you Paul for organizing the virtual gridcon to support us. Thank you all the wonderful donors who donated a sum of 8,700 pounds. And thanks to the games company who donated games to the charity fundraiser. Thank you for helping us to learn more board games. <laughs> <Right. Laser. laughs>